You are listening to The Bad Boy Radio Show with Mr. Locario and Miles Cunningham. This is that real shit, not that fake shit. The only radio show that's not afraid to tell you the truth about the game. This is The Bad Boy Radio Show. Remember, the truth is inside you. Yo, yo, what up, what up? You guys have tuned into the Bad Boy Show with Mr. Locario and Miles Cunningham. Miles, what's going on, man? Yo, what's going on? Uh, happy Easter if you're into that stuff, you know? Exactly, exactly. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? It was, it was, what was it? It was 420 yesterday, so everybody was smoking weed and all that shit, right? And right, then, right. And now, now it's Easter and all that, you feel me? So... It's, it's it's cool. It's cool. So, you know, shout out to all the you people think, with the Easter shit and all that other stuff. You know what I'm saying? You think, you, think, you think Jesus is somewhere smoking weed with the Easter bunny? Probably. 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 You know what, <laughs> you know what when they say he was risen, mm. it's probably, they just meant he was getting high. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Hey, listen. Let me stop because I don't want nobody getting offended by, uh, you know. Right, right. Because you know how religious yeah, people Yeah, let me, let me chill. Yeah, yeah. These people is mad is super sensitive, even but, though. But anyway, of... <laughs> happy, happy Easter to all of you, and you know whatever it is that you do that makes your life, you know, worth living. You know, mm. do that because right. I'd rather you doing that than some other crazy shit. You feel me? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, man. It's What's so, going on with you, though, Lucario? I'm chilling, man. Chilling. You know, out here getting it in. You know what I'm saying? Trying to. Trying to get more information to to give back to the game, you feel me? So, (laughs) that's what we do, that's what we do. So today, we're going to be talking about uh, why you're having trouble getting women to sleep with you, okay? So, this is an issue, because, you know, guys, they can, you know, they'll they'll be able to talk to chicks, they'll be able to, you know, go on dates, you know, get numbers and all that, and then then it's like when it comes time to get them sex... They're like, you know, I can't, what's popping? Ain't nothing really popping off or it's, it's hard for them to get, you know, right. as much sex as they want. So we're going to talk about, right. you know, some reasons, you know, why you're having trouble getting women to uh, sleep with you. You feel what I'm saying? But right. before we get into all that, um, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to get into some news. All right. So you guys are listening to The Bad Boy Show. Yo, you still ain't getting women? Really? Come on, son. You need to go to badboymembership.com and step up your game. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. And I'm telling you that if you really want to attract beautiful women, you need to go to badboymembership.com. This is where you get 45 through 90 minute step-by-step dating advice tutorials every month. Just sign up, follow the advice, and you'll get the woman you want. Go to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com. Com. Introducing Ital Roots Jamaican Roots Drink, a perfect blend of health-enriching tropical fruits and naturally powerful male libido-enhancing herbs. Voted best-tasting roots drink in the market and made from superior high-end holistic natural materials. The main ingredient in Ital Roots is Cheney Root, a well-known tropical aphrodisiac discovered in Jamaica for men with low energy or low sex drive. It's very high in iron content. This makes it excellent for cleansing and building up the blood cells wherever your body needs it. Buy on Amazon.com or Juice for Life Plus. Com. That's juice the number four life plus dot com. All right, people, we are back on the Bad Boy Show. And remember, guys, make sure you go to our other Patreon, which is the Confident Show, where we talk about confidence, life, success, business, all that other good shit. You feel what I'm saying? All right, people, <clears throat> we are back. We are back on the Bad Boy Show. So today we're talking about why you're having trouble getting women to sleep with you, okay? So sometimes what happens is is that, you know, you're out here, you're talking to girls, you might be getting girls' numbers, you might be able, you know, you're talking on the phone with them or whatever, you know, you're going out on dates, you're making out with these chicks, and sometimes you even get these girls to your house, but sex ain't happening. (laughs) You're like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? And so the thing is, you know, in this, in this, in this show today, I wanted to talk about, you know, why you're having trouble getting these women to sleep with you. And then, you know, certain things you can do to actually make it happen more. You feel what I'm saying? Right. And so, you know, we got, we got a few things here we're going to talk about and go over. So the first thing you got to understand is the reason why you're not getting women to sleep with you is because you're not attractive. 
Okay, you're not attractive. So, so, and and, and this is the thing. Let me let me let me stop here for a second and 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 define Please. attractive because you know as soon as you say right. attractive, you know these niggas always think, oh, it's all about the looks and it's the looks and you gotta look good and blah blah blah. You understand? Attractive, right? When it comes to you being attractive to women. Because first of all, what we got to understand is what does attractive mean? It means to attract. It means to pull in. It means to, you understand what I'm saying? It means to uh, right. be able to to bring something towards you. To, you understand what I'm saying? So the thing is, is that what makes you attractive as a man is a lot of different things. It's a combination of things. So yes, yeah, some of it is your looks. You see what I'm saying? But it's also right. your behavior. You know what I'm saying? It's your personality. It's your charisma, your swag, your, you know, just your overall energy, which makes you attractive. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then, and then, mm -hmm. and then when we get into talking about you having, uh, you know, sex with these women, it, it gets into the sexual attraction and, and your sex appeal. You feel what I'm saying? And so a lot of times what happens is your sex appeal encompasses a lot of different things because you have guys who are, you know, um, some people would say are good looking dudes, but they may not necessarily have like their sex appeal. Isn't really strong when it comes to them, you know, dealing with women, like a woman will see the guy say, Oh yeah, he's cute, but she doesn't feel anything for him. She doesn't like, she doesn't get that feeling. You see what I'm saying? And so the thing is, is that what happens is, is that because she doesn't get that feeling, she's not really attracted to him like that. You feel what I'm saying? Right. And so, and right. so in order for you to get that woman to, to, to want to sleep with you, right, you have to become that attractive guy. You feel what I'm saying? So an attractive guy, you know, he knows how to dress well. He smells good. He knows how to talk to women, you know, flirt, build sexual tension. You know, he's a leader. You understand? He's decisive. He's aggressive. You understand? All those things make you attractive to women. But if you're the type of mm -hmm. guy who's insecure, who's always, you know, overthinking everything, you don't really know how to talk to women, you know, because because imagine you could be a, 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 a you know, physically attractive guy but because of all those other traits that makes you not attractive to a lot of women you see what i'm saying and this is what i'm saying is not just all about the looks you see what i mean right. it's like this it's like I'll, I'll even flip it so you guys can understand let's say you let's say you was at a party right and there was a girl who who was like you would consider like a 10 and then there's another girl you would consider maybe like a six and a half right now let's say you were, you know, you 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 were in conversations with both of them or whatever, right? And at first you're like, yeah, the ten is hot. I want to smash the ten. And even the six, you might be like, yeah, I'll, you know, she's okay, whatever. But I I really want the ten. You feel what I mean? But let's say you start right. flirt with the ten, but the ten's not really flirting with you heavy. She's kind of like being a little standoffish. You know, she's um, you know, what I'm saying she's just like, kind of like whatever. And then you're talking to the six. And the six is just talking to you regular, but out of the blue, she, she whispers in the air and she says, yo, um, come follow me in the bathroom. I want to suck your dick. You feel what I'm saying? Now, which, mm. one, which one of the two women are more attractive to you at this point? You mm. feel what I'm saying? Good question. You see Good what question. I mean? <laughs> which, one of the two, which one of the two are more attractive? You see what I'm saying? You would, you would right. be like, yo, the six is on point. You feel what I mean? Because right. her, cause her behavior made her more attractive than the 10. You see what I'm saying? Because now she's more sexually attractive than the 10 because the 10 ain't really doing nothing for you. She ain't really giving you those vibes. But that six is like, yo, I'm trying to suck your dick. You feel what I'm saying? Right. And so and so right. That's, that's what I'm saying when it comes to you being attractive to women. You feel what I mean? There's, there's It's a combination of things that gets the woman in that state, in that feeling. You feel what I'm saying? Because uh, the right. thing is with women, uh, uh, you know, a woman will be way more attracted to an aggressive guy versus a guy who's very timid and, you know, and, and scared to make moves. You feel what I'm saying? Or, mm -hmm. in, in, or he's mm -hmm. indecisive. You see what I mean? She's going to be more attracted to that aggressive dude because the aggressive, you know, guy is, you know, showing more masculine traits which is what gets the girl turned on because it's the masculinity that is attractive. 
You see what I'm saying? Mm. That's what that's what you right. don't understand. It's that overall masculinity right. that's attractive. You see what I'm saying? It's not about you just you know looking quote unquote cute. You feel what I'm saying? Like there's a lot right. of niggas she run into that look cute. So what? What's the difference? You feel what I'm saying? The difference is the nigga who and that's and that's what separates a lot of motherfuckers is it's that behavior. You see what I'm saying? The behavior separates you from all these other niggas. That's the main, main, main thing. Yeah, girl will check you out, think you look good, blah, 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 all that other stuff. That's all good and great. But with chicks, you feel what I'm saying? To really pull, to really get it going on a consistent basis, you have to be that attractive dude. And what makes you attractive is the combination of everything. You see what I'm saying? Everything, right. Everything. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, 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 another thing I, I want to add up to that, the whole on the idea of attractiveness, is that I mean, again, you know, chicks are all over the place, but there, but there's a couple of things that I that I kind of that I understand about chicks, and you got to look at certain things that they do and realize where they're coming from it, with when it comes to certain things, right? So mm -hmm. the reason I'm saying this is like a woman. So when a woman goes shopping, right, and even if she says she's just buying one thing, she always comes back to three or four things, right? Mm, and right. and and here's and here's what happens a lot of times in a chick in a chick's mind. So she goes to the store and she see she tries on the one that one thing that she said she wanted to get, but uh -huh. then she starts thinking she starts thinking of herself wearing that thing in different situations, in right. different parties, in different settings, in different. You know, uh, uh, you know, she's thinking about who's gonna be there, who's gonna see the dress. You know, what, what kind of fucking pictures she gonna take to put on her Instagram, mm -hmm. and and you know how it's gonna look, and all of these shit in all these different settings, right? So it's a, it's it's almost the same thing when she's meeting when she's meeting a dude. Mm -hmm. For him to for him to be considered attractive, his personality has to be more than what it takes for that one situation that she's meeting him in. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Facts. The game is heavy. Keep going. What? Preach. <laughs> because, Preach, nigga. No, because cause the thing is, it's like, okay, you know, you're, you're, meet, you're meeting her at a, let's just say you're meeting a girl at a coffee shop, right? Right. Now, you, you know, you're, you're or, 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 yeah, you're, you're a coffee shop. So you're there, you're talking, but you're just like you're, you're you know, the, your 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 um your uh, approach and your attitude and your energy is low because it's like, man, you, you know, you're just in a coffee shop, you're just chilling, you right. know, it it doesn't matter. You're you know, you're kind of laid back, right? Mm -hmm. Now, nine times out of ten, you might come off as boring, right. so she might not respond too well to you. Mm -hmm. You understand? However, mm -hmm. you, but let's just say you're still in that coffee shop, you're the same boring situation but let's just say when you approach her you make her laugh you start mm -hmm. talking about different things other than coffee right. you start talking about things that have nothing to do with coffee even though you're sitting in a coffee shop right. now this girl she gets an idea and 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 let's just let's just go with the let's just let me describe the scene as well too you have it most most everybody that goes to a coffee shop you know um you know they they're, they're probably just wearing some regular old drab clothes you understand mm. what I'm saying? Like, right. but, but, but you, when you come to the coffee shop, you're wearing, you know, you know, some, some, you know, some cool, uh, uh, like, like fitted, um, you, you, those, you know, those cool, like, uh, nylon pants, right. they got the zippers on it and they mm. got probably got different patches of color on it. And, right. and you got, it got a cool pocket for your cell phone and all this shit. Mm. And then you wear some, you know, some cool shoes some cool sneakers. And a nice colorful shirt or a shirt that matches the pants or the shoes. Right. And you wear you probably wearing a hat and a watch, right? Mm -hmm. right? Now, you're in a coffee shop and she's meeting you in a coffee shop, but because of because of what you're wearing, she can see you at a party. Right. You understand? Right, exactly. And because of the way you're because of the way you're talking to her, because you're making her laugh, she can see you outside of the coffee shop, probably just walking down the street or walking through the mall or chilling at her homegirl's house with her mm. or something, right? Because mm. you're giving her more than just that coffee shop vibe. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Mm. You're giving, Facts. see, I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you like this. A lot of dudes, you know, when, you know, they, when they talk about, 
the easiest places to meet women, right? Mm. When you think about the club and why and why and why it can be the hardest place to meet a chick is that with 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 club and those high profile situations, it's kind of like there's a limit because you're already dressed to impress. Mm-hmm. You understand? So right. you're in the high stakes situation where they're already judging you mm-hmm. and judging your attractiveness and judging your personality because you're in the club. You're supposed to be funny. You're right. supposed to be, you exactly. know, cool <laughs> and entertaining. And you're supposed to be a, a great guy that everybody wants to be around because mm-hmm. you're in a social club. Right. You're at the club with music and drinks and lights and all of this crazy shit. Right. Mm-hmm. But the reason why they say that it's easier to me to check at a bookstore or at a coffee shop or at the supermarket is because where people are usually regular, that's when you get to shine a little bit more. Mm-hmm. That's when Facts. if you if you take if you take just a little bit more time with your appearance, if you make sure your 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 you know your shape up is, is cut right, you make sure that maybe you coordinate your shirt, your and your shoes or your your hat and your and your pants or whatever. Mm-hmm. Now you're in a you're in a boring setting, but you look exciting. Right. You, can, you see what I'm saying? Exactly. And and when and when you're in the supermarket or the coffee shop or the or the or the bookstore, you don't just come up to them talking about books. You come up to them talking about other shit. You mm-hmm. come up to them, you know, showing her that yo, I'm a man. I'm I'm meeting you in this bookstore, but I'm a man who can who can be a cool dude in any situation. So that's mm-hmm. why I'm standing here, you know, spitting this rap to you, and I, I'm I'm impressing you with my knowledge. I'm making you laugh. I'm talking all this different type of shit. Because I'm, I am more than the situation that you're meeting me in right now. Facts. You understand? Mm. And that's what allows me to be. That's what allows you to be attracted to a girl. Because just like that, 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 that blouse. She's she's trying on a blouse, looking in the mirror and saying, "Man, I could wear this to that wedding I got coming up, or I could wear this to that party on Saturday night, or mm. I could wear this out to the club on Friday, right. or I could wear this to Taco Tuesdays with with Cynthia because." Blah, 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 blah. Like, whatever. Right. But the point is, she's not just standing in the store looking at the shirt and how it fits. She's looking at how this shirt is going to make her look in different situations, mm-hmm. right? So it's the same thing when she meets you as the man. Mm-hmm. It's like she wants to know how it, how is it going to be? What, what is the experience going to be like with mm-hmm. this man in different situations? Right. You understand what I'm right. saying? It's true. It's true. That's, that's why... That's why on a, on a on a on a simple on a simple level, confidence is way so so much important because right now we're at we're at the bookstore and it's a low stakes situation, but you're 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 acting timid, you're acting shy, you're acting like it's hard for you to come up and talk to me. You understand? You're mm-hmm. acting nervous, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm not thinking about you in this bookstore. I'm thinking about you in a in a high stakes situation. I'm thinking about you, you know, going out to the club with me or. You know, when we get to the to the front door at the at the at the bar, and the bouncer is is, is asking you for your ID, and and your shoulders are all slumped, and your voice is really low and and mm-hmm. scared and timid sounding. <laughs> you understand? That's what the girl is thinking about. She's seeing you in all these different scenarios in a split fucking second. Right. You understand? Right. A, it's, a fe- true. it's crazy, but a female a female could do that. So that's why confidence, appearance, not look but appearance mm-hmm. being attractive in that type of situation where it's like you get to, you get to outshine your environment. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So you're, so that's why they say meeting a, meeting a woman in regular places is easier because it's like, if you do it right, you get to outshine your environment. Imagine most people who go to do laundry, they wear the last fucking thing that's clean. Right. Right. <laughs> right. But imagine, imagine if you go to, to go do laundry and you're decked out. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, everybody else in the fucking laundry mat is wearing the last fucking clean shirt in their fucking wardrobe. Right. But right. you're over there decked out. You're coordinated. You 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 shining. You look good. You smell good. Mm-hmm. You don't fucking smell like uh, uh, laundry detergent. No, nah, you smell like that new cologne from somebody. Mm-hmm. And you over there. You over there. You know, with your hat tapped to the side or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Talking to this, talking to this bitch like, yo, what's up, girl? How you doing? Right. You know what I'm saying? I, right. I'm, I was figuring after after this um. After we, you know, after we finish our laundry, we could go get a drink or something. Right. 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 And she's looking at you. She's looking at you and she's already looking at you outside of the laundromat. Mm. So when you ask her to go get a drink, 
It's like, hell yeah, I'll go get a drink with this nigga. Because right, right. look how he looks when he just come to do laundry. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Facts. Like, dude, this is heavy fucking game I'm putting on y'all head. Right. But yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, dude, because y'all so fucking yeah, your mind is so locked in on, on what should I say to this bitch? Mm. It's like you can't you can't take the time to think about or understand or mm. remember the shit that I'm telling you right now. Right, so you can understand right. what it is when you're right. when you're standing in that fucking coffee shop trying to mm. say hello to some bitch. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that and see, and that's and that's the thing that that when it when it comes to this is what we talking about when it comes to you being attractive because attractive, again yes. again the thing you got to understand is like even when. It,